the speaker ready? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, spoke, yeah. Okay, so uh, I, uh, I appreciate joining with our leadership here. You heard from Senator Cantwell about our need to be able to out-compete through innovation, uh, through computer chips, uh, to being at the apex uh, of innovation uh, in the world, as we already are. We we'll have to continue to do that. That makes needs investments. But at the end of the day, in addition to that, China is a foreign policy challenge. And so what we do under the Strategic Competition Act, which passed the Senate Foreign Relations Committee 21 to 1, uh, is to do uh, several things to get our foreign policy right as it relates to China. It's about getting the Indo-Pacific region and our allies that share values and interests with us aligned, uh, re-engaging with them in a way that the last four years did not bring. It is about challenging China in international forum uh, by joining with our allies. If you think about the economies of the United States, Canada, Australia, Japan, South Korea, the European Union joined together in common pursuit, well, that's a major challenge to China. Uh, if you think uh, about our challenge to China as it relates to their debt trap diplomacy, where they go throughout Africa and Latin America lending under provisions that ultimately trap that country and for which then China exacts from them uh, demands in terms of foreign policy, votes at international organizations, and ultimately they can't get out of that debt. Uh, we deal with that. It also centers on our values, looking at the incredible uh, human rights violations that are going with Uyghurs uh, in China or their overreach on Taiwan and Hong Kong. So all of this, which was a series of amendments, Republican and Democrat alike, that brought us to the 21 and one vote, is to reorganize our international effort in a way that meets the challenge uh, of China in a geostrategic way. We see China as a competitor. Uh, we wish China would take advantage of what the, the United States and the Western world offered them, which was an opportunity to be part of the international order. We invited them into entities like the World Trade Organization and other international forums with the hope and the expectation that they would move in a direction uh, like most of the rest of the world. Unfortunately, under Xi Jinping, that has not panned out, and that's why the committee came together in a bipartisan way to devise a foreign policy that can meet that challenge. Thank you. And this bill has 